In this lesson, you will learn how to graph a line given a point and a slope. The first step is to plot the point on the coordinate plane. So, plot the point 1, negative 2. This is our starting point. The next step is to find another point using the slope. Slope is rise over ran. Here, it is 4 over 5. Remember, when the rise is positive, move up. When it is negative, move down. Similarly, when the run is positive, move to the right. When it is negative, move to the left. So, for our example, the rise is 4 units up, and the run is 5 units to the right. Now, starting from the point, move up 4 units. Then, move to the right 5 units, and plot the second point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. That's your line. Notice how the positive slope makes the line rise as you move from left to right. Now, let's look at what happens when the slope is negative. First, plot the point 0, 0,5. If you need a refresher on plotting points, check the link in the description. Next, find another point using the slope. Remember, slope is rise over run, and in this case, it is negative 3 over 2, right? Place the negative sign in the numerator. This doesn't change the value of the slope, since they are equivalent fractions. So, the rise is 3 units down and the run is 2 units to the right. Now starting from the point, move down 3 units. Then, move to the right 2 units and plot the second point. Although you only need 2 points to draw a line, adding more points can make your graph more accurate, especially with pen and paper. From the second point, move down 3 units. Then to the right 2 units and plot the third point. Let's add one last point. From the third point, move down 3 units then to the right two units and plot the fourth point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. That's your graph for this example. Notice how the negative slope makes the line fall as you move from left to right. Now, let's try something interesting. What happens if the slope takes you off the coordinate plane? As always, start by plotting the point. Notice that the slope is 2, which is the same as 2 over 1, right? So, the rise is 2 units up and the run is one unit to the right. However, moving up two units from the point takes us out of the coordinate plane. So what should we do? Can we go backward? Let's find out. If we change the signs of both two and one, the slope stays the same because negative two divided by negative one is still two, right? So with our modified slope, the rise is two units down and the run is one unit to the left. Now starting from the point, move down two units then to the left one unit and plot the second point. See, we're now inside the coordinate plane. Now pause the video and add two more points. From the second point, move down two units, then to the left one unit and plot the third point. Repeat these steps from the third point to plot a fourth point. You can add more points like this if you want. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. Now what if the slope is zero? How do you graph the line? Start by plotting the point. When the slope is zero, the line is horizontal. This means there is no rise, the line doesn't go up or down. So just draw a horizontal line that passes through the point. In general, if the slope is zero, the graph is a horizontal line passing through the given point. But what happens if the slope is undefined? First, plot the point two comma zero. When the slope is undefined, the line is vertical. This means there is no run the line doesn't go left or right. So just draw a vertical line that passes through the point. In general, if the slope is undefined, the graph is a vertical line passing through the given point. For a solid understanding of slope, check the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.